Is a Daredevil reboot coming to Disney Plus? Ever since Marvel's Netflix series were unceremoniously snapped out of existence, the Man Without Fear has largely been the Man Without a Cinematic Universe. But all of that changed when after months and months and months of rumors, Charlie Cox reprised his role as Matt Murdock in Spider-Man No Way Home. And to top it all off, Vincent D'Onofrio also came back to play Kingpin once more on Hawkeye. And now that the Marvel Netflix series are officially streaming on Disney+, Daredevil fans are feverishly speculating about when they'll next get a glimpse of Matt Murdock being a really, really good lawyer. I'm a really good lawyer. Charlie Cox himself sparked a fresh wave of speculation in late February during an interview with the Radio Times. When asked about when he would next play Daredevil, Cox said, I know something, I don't know much, but I know there will be something else. It's been heavily rumored that Charlie Cox will play Matt Murdock again in other Disney Plus shows like She-Hulk, which makes a lot of sense because he's one of the highest profile attorneys in the Marvel Universe. And also in Echo, which makes sense because Echo originated in the pages of Daredevil in the comics. However, new reports suggest that old Hornhead is getting a reboot of his very own for Disney Plus as well. Now, reports of a new Daredevil project began swirling on pop culture news site Murphy's Multiverse in early March, and they gained traction thanks to a new listing in Production Weekly, a subscription service that provides news and updates on upcoming film and television productions for entertainment industry professionals. The Production Weekly listing, which we spotted via IGN, includes a Daredevil reboot among the various films and TV shows gearing up for production. The listing mentions that the Disney Plus series is currently in development and it's being produced by Marvel Studios head honcho Kevin Feige and Marvel's Behind the Mask producer Chris Gary. According to IGN, the synopsis for the show appears to be based on previous synopses for the Netflix Daredevil series. And other than that, no information about when this series would actually go into production or debut is available. The biggest question, though, is whether this will be a continuation of the original show, a totally fresh start for the character, or a course correction to bring the legacy cast in line with the modern Marvel Cinematic Universe. Most likely, it will retain certain elements of the original Netflix series and gloss over the more tedious aspects of retelling an origin story. During a panel at the Middle East Film and Comic Con in early March, Charlie Cox suggested that a future Daredevil show would not pick up where the previous one left off. In keeping with a lot of things in the MCU, it's a good moment to have a few years pass. It's reimagined, it's slightly different, it's born again. That use of born again is a cheeky pun on Cox's part. It's a reference to the classic 1986 Daredevil storyline by Frank Miller, David Mazzucchelli, Joe Rosen, and Christy Mack Shaley about Daredevil trying to build a new life for himself after Kingpin effectively destroys his. With that said, the Netflix series already used multiple elements of the born again storyline during seasons two and three of its run, so I wouldn't expect an adaptation again. Still, the fact of the matter is that both Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio have returned to the MCU as their iconic characters. And based on others like J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson, Marvel clearly has zero qualms about bringing back actors to play new versions of characters they've played previously in other cinematic universes or slightly off-canon stories. With the MCU plunging headlong into the multiverse of madness, it's an easy way to explain away any discrepancies as being the actions of variants from another reality. For the time being, though, only Cox and D'Onofrio are officially back in the MCU, but speaking with Den of Geek, Deborah Ann Wall mentioned that she is eager to play Karen Page again, but she's still waiting for the official word from Marvel. I would gladly, in a heartbeat, pick Karen back up. Obviously, I would want it to be the right thing. I wouldn't want to go for it if it felt completely different from what we did. I would come back because I want to play with Matt Murdock again. I want to play with Frank Castle again. I want to see these characters again. Even though I've stayed in touch with the humans, the characters are also fascinating people. And last but not least, let's address the blood-soaked elephant in the room. Now, some of you might be wondering, hey Dan, didn't Kingpin die at the end of Hawkeye? Sure looked like he died at the end of Hawkeye. Well, my sweet summer child, let me remind you, these shows and movies are based on comic books. In Marvel Comics in particular, no one stays dead for very long unless your name is Uncle Ben. And there also is a comic book precedent for the storyline of Echo trying to assassinate her manipulative mentor Kingpin as well. In the comics, Kingpin survived his multiple gunshot wounds, but was blinded as a result of this attack. So you'd think that would give him some common ground with Matt Murdock and Daredevil, but no, he remained a complete and total bastard. Much, much later though, in Daredevil number 50, we learn that Kingpin secretly got reconstructive eye surgery, and I imagine they'll explore that plot point further in either the upcoming Echo series or maybe this rumored Daredevil show as well. 
As for what we can expect tonally from a new MCU Daredevil show, it's unclear if they would go for a hard R rating like we saw in some of the brutal hallway fights of the Marvel Netflix shows. But considering the darker direction Marvel's taking with shows like Moon Knight, and the fact they didn't censor any of the existing Marvel Netflix content for Disney+, Plus, we can keep our fingers crossed they'll stay true to what so many fans loved about the original series. Honestly though, with a reboot like this and the possibilities offered by the multiverse, the sky is well and truly the limit. Maybe they'll even bring the Ninja Turtles into the MCU because, after all, they were mutated by the same canister of chemical goo that blinded Daredevil and gave him his powers. After all these years, whoa. I mean, probably not, but it doesn't hurt to dream. In the meantime, though, we'll keep you posted as this story continues to develop. For now, though, tell us what do you think of this news? What would you want to see from a Daredevil show in the MCU? And should they bring back Colin Farrell as Bullseye? <laughs> Bullseye. Let us know in the comments below, and for the latest and greatest in the world of pop culture, stay tuned to Nerdist.com.